Do you prefer a long break or several short breaks? I prefer several short breaks. I'm a smoker, so for me it's really important to have short breaks which are good for having a cigarette. If I don't get my smoke breaks, I really feel less productive because otherwise I'm focusing on having a cigarette instead of on my work. It's only sensible to take more short breaks if you could not be punctual to come back after the long break. I find it's irritating to refocus after any kind of breaks, no matter the length. Therefore, I'd rather focus on the number of breaks I allow myself to take. I usually take a long break during lunch or dinner to give myself a chance to breathe so I can concentrate better afterwards. It's helpful to take quick breaks during a workday. Switching your mind to something totally different from what you were busy with helps to recharge energy and regain concentration. But the problem is, it's hard to switch back. Personally, I can't keep that pause short. I prefer to study four or five hours straight without a break, and after that, I take a long break. Ah, uh, among the two, ah,、uh, between the two choice, I will choose a long break. Um,、uh, if the breaks are too short, I just、uh, have to stay at home. I just have on only one choice is to stay at home. But if the break is long, I have another choice. I have I can I have the opportunity to travel. Or to have a trip around the city, or to some places of interests with my parents or with my best friends. But、uh, so I prefer a long break. What do you usually do during a break? Usually during my break, I'll go have a tea or coffee, and maybe go out for a smoke. If I'm by myself, I'll grab my phone and catch up with my messages or calls. And if I'm with my coworkers, I'll probably gossip with them about the other workers. Um, what do I like to do? Well, go on YouTube, go on Weibo, go on WeChat. Desperately hope for notifications. Read up about stuff on Weibo. Scroll through my WeChat moments for the uptime time. I would blink and discover I just took a two-hour study break. I guess I can't stop overextending my breaks. Uh, well, as I said before,、um, I am pretty versatile. <laughs> you know, also in my during my、uh, break hours, so I just like do that. Some、uh, main tasks are dancing, and listening to the music, or drinking some、uh, stimulant like coffee or green tea.、Uh, sometimes matcha, and、uh, also reading some magazines, something like fashion magazines or weapon magazines, and even do some crazy things like playing games. Um, you know, just for several minutes. I don't have to, you know, play very long. So just to chill out, just to have a very good mental balance. So when I do go back to my study or to my work, I will be more energized. Ah,、uh, it depends on the length of the break. If the break is long, I usually have a trip. Maybe to some places of interest in other cities or province, and、uh, if in the future I have the opportunity, I want to go to go abroad. And if the break is short, I usually stay at home, maybe have a good meal with my parents, or and then listen to some music or read some books.
I usually get some sunshine if the weather is good outside. If it's snowing or freezing outside, I try to stay home and cook. I like to make gingerbread cookies, pumpkin pies, or just simple desserts like lemon tarts or microwavable chocolate cupcakes. Cupcakes in a cup is so easy to make. You put all the ingredients in a cup, pop it into the microwave, then you can enjoy your dessert in three minutes. Why do you need to take a break? I work 10 hours a day, so if I didn't have breaks, I'd be exhausted. First of all, I have a big lunch break, which divides my day into two halves, so I can look forward to half my day being over and then focus on the second half. But most importantly, I need my other short breaks for things like going to the bathroom or calling people back. Um, I think this is, reason is pretty simple because um, physiologically speaking, human beings need to have rest. You know, just like old saying goes, uh, all work, no play, make Jake, uh, makes Jake a dog boy. So I think it's really important to have a, you know, a equilibrium um, in your energy spending. And, you know, for example, you keep uh, working on your assignment or academic tasks uh, or business tasks for a long time, maybe two hours. You need to stretch your back a bit and just to chill out your brain a little bit so that when you go back to your main task, you still have enough energy. Otherwise, you'll be so exhausted. Usually because boredom, loneliness, or hunger stops my brain to function properly. Therefore, I take a break to regain consciousness. In order to keep the central processing unit on my body running at its optimal level, I try to take a break, usually eating breaks, so I can refuel my brain. Actually, I'm not a machine and uh, I can't walk all the time. I need time to refresh my mind and uh, uh, to make me chill out. So, break, a break gave me the opportunity to relax myself and prepare myself to have a good start or have a good begin so the break is necessary for the overall developments and of me and is necessary to improve my psychological and physical health condition. How often do you take a break? I take a break about every two hours. At my job, I'm not allowed to take breaks sooner than that. So I have a few breaks every day for things like going to the bathroom or having a snack. Sometimes I ask to take a break to make an important phone call but of course, I wish I could take a break for my whole workday. Nearly once every 45 minutes, one day I saw there is scientific evidence about the reasonable frequency of taking breaks in a passage. Scientists do some tests and experiments in terms of this. It's convincing. After that, I decided to follow the guideline of science. Besides, my education background helps me to develop this habit. I usually take a break once a week, actually. Uh, actually, in daily life in university, I face um, a lot of difficulties and the competition, the atmosphere around me is competitive. So I have to learn more knowledge to improve my skills and to prove I'm a good student. I'm a good student. So actually, I don't have enough time to take a break. Most of my time was spending 
are spending, are、uh, is spending in the library and reading books or doing the homework. Well, as I said before, because、um, I'm a multitasker, so I have different,、uh, you know,、uh, short breaks. Um, very frequently, so I can say that、uh, every one hour, or, or maybe at least every,、uh, at least for every one hour, but sometimes maybe one and a half hours, I will take a break.、Uh, maybe sip a cup of coffee, do some、uh, popping, dancings, or just you know hit the heavy bag several times, you know for several rounds, and I can chill out, and then I go back to different new tasks, and that's it. Okay, here is a part one video on the topic of taking a break. Let's have a listen to the first question. Do you prefer a long break or several short breaks? And sample one. I prefer several short breaks. I'm a smoker, so for me, it's really important to have short breaks, which are good for having a cigarette. If I don't get my smoke breaks, I really feel less productive. Because otherwise, I'm focusing on having a cigarette instead of on my work. Okay, so you might notice like this last sentence here is pretty long. It started here with if and ended here with word. Long sentence. Let's start at the beginning here. Okay, so here is the answer. He states his preference. He moves on to give a reason, backing up the reason with so for me. It's important to have short breaks.、Uh, so notice the so. Notice the which, the relative clause. So it's important to have short breaks, which are good for. And then we have this noun phrase, good for having a cigarette.、Uh, so what's good about this is the so connects these two ideas. The which makes the grammar complex. And then in the next sentence we have this if sentence. If and then using the present tense. If I don't get, I really feel. So after this, if present tense, because these are things that always happen. And then to continue, we have this otherwise. Otherwise, I'm focusing on having ba 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 ba. So really good connective features. We have the otherwise. We have the so. And grammatically, we have the which and we have the if. So yeah, that's a really good answer. Here's sample two. It's only sensible to take more short breaks if you could not be punctual to come back after the long break. It's only sensible to take more short breaks. If you go back to the question, it's do you prefer a long break or several short breaks? This woman. Who is the you? <laughs> is she talking about herself? Remember, part one is personal. You need to be talking about yourself.、Um, now she starts off in the present tense. It's only sensible, and then she says, "If you could, why could? Why not? If you are not punctual." I'm not sure why there's a could there.、Um, to come back after the long break.、Uh, it's not the. Let's go back to the question. <laughs> It's a long break, a long break, or several short breaks. So,、uh, if you are not punctual in coming back after a long break,、um, here she uses if, but there's no second clause. So, if you are not punctual in coming back after a long break, then what? I don't know. If you are using an if clause, there has to be another clause, and there's no clause here. Let's move on. Hey, I find it's irritating to refocus after any kind of breaks, no matter the length. See this? I think maybe she should have put in the beginning. Maybe she's trying to say she doesn't enjoy any break, no matter the length. So put this in the beginning. Therefore, I'd rather focus on the number of breaks I allow myself to take. Right, but that's what the question is asking. It's asking, do you want to take one long break or several short breaks? That is the number. Okay, I'd rather focus. Here, the grammar is not bad, and here we also have the marker. Therefore, I don't know if. Yeah, that does make sense. 
Okay, so these two ideas are well connected with therefore. The grammar is good. We have the I'd rather focus. Now she's back to the present tense. I usually take a long break during lunch or dinner to give myself a chance to breathe so I can concentrate better afterwards. I usually take a long break during lunch or dinner. Okay. Okay, I, okay, I see what's happening now. Okay, so this introductory, this background information precedes the real answer. Okay, so her answer is completely backwards. She should have started with this. I usually take a long break during lunch or dinner. She should have put this in the beginning, and then she should explain why she prefers to do that, because what is the real reason? Because it's irritating for her to refocus after a break. So she just prefers to take a break during lunch or dinner time. I think she should have done this absolutely in the reverse of what she did here. All right, sample three. It's helpful to take quick breaks during a work day. Switching your mind into something totally different from what you were busy with helps to recharge energy and regain. Again, I don't know what the answer is here. <laughs> is the answer one break or is it several short breaks? <laughs> what is the answer? I don't know. Okay, it's helpful to take quick breaks. Okay, uh, maybe short breaks, but who is the you? Is she talking about herself? So switching, instead of saying your mind, why doesn't she say switching my mind to something, not into something, switching my mind to something totally different from what I was busy doing doing before helps to recharge energy. Okay, I'll talk about the language in just a second. But the first important thing is they're not asking about people in general, they're asking about you. So switching my mind. Take quick breaks during a work day. Switching your mind into something totally different from what you were busy with helps to recharge energy and regain concentration. Okay, the regain is not bad, uh, but you can't recharge energy. You can recharge your batteries. So switching my mind to what I was busy doing with before helps to recharge my batteries, not recharge energy. Recharge my batteries. But the problem is it's hard to switch back. Personally, I can't keep that password. I pre password. Personally, I can't keep that password. I don't know. That's what I hear. I can't keep that password. I, I don't know what she means. I can't keep that balance, or I I, I don't know. I prefer to study four or five hours straight without a break, and after that, I take a long break. Okay, so here towards the end, she talks about her personal preferences. I prefer to study for four or five hours straight. That sounds like, then, okay, so she takes a long break, but then in the beginning, she says quick breaks. So who was who she talking about here? Here it's quick breaks, and here it's long break. So confusing. Uh, I don't know which one the real answer is. Now she says, I prefer to study for four or five hours straight. This is a good word to use. If you do something straight, it means you do something without a break. Good vocabulary. Here's sample four. Ah, uh, uh, among the two, uh, between the two choice, I will... Between the two choices. You choose a long break. Uh, if the bricks are breaks, not bricks, breaks. If the breaks too short, I just uh, have to stay at home. I just have on only one choice is to stay at home. Okay, so she's saying I have to stay at home, I have to stay at home. I'm not sure why she wants to say the same thing twice. That's clearly a repetition. At home. But if the break is long. I have another choice. I have. I can. I have the. Okay, you can probably tell that's not very fluent, right? Here to travel, 
or to have a trip around the city. Or now, the topic here is having a break during the day. She's talking about traveling. I think she's confusing having a break with having a holiday. If you make that mistake in the test, I don't think it's the end of the world. Uh, some people just interpret the topic or interpret the question in a different way. To some places of interest. Okay, places of interest. There's no S. Places of interest. With my parents or with my best friends. But uh, so. But so. I prefer. Just choose one. Don't say but so. So, so I prefer a long break. But a long break. Okay. Um, the answer is quite long. It's about forty seconds. But she speaks quite slowly. There's a lot of repetition. There's a lot, a lot of self-correction. Vocabulary is fair, and the grammar is also fair. I'd say <laughs> pronunciation. That's a bit of a problem. She keeps on mispronouncing break as break, and as so many Chinese people do, she adds this uh at the end of word, like for example, just uh. And also, voice is quite flat, doesn't use a whole lot of stress either. Uh, let's move on to the next question. What do you usually do during a break? And sample one. Usually during my break, I'll go have a tea or coffee and maybe go out for a smoke. If I'm by myself, I'll grab my phone and catch up with my messages or calls. And if I'm with my co-workers, I'll probably gossip with them about the other workers. Okay, uh, quite short, quite basic. The structures are pretty much the same. So usually I do this. If this situation is true, then I'll do this. If this situation is true, then I'll do this. Pretty basic. Let's see, vocabulary-wise, we have the gossip here. That's not bad. Catch up with my messages. Now, I would say catch up on my messages. With is not wrong, but okay. Uh, catch up, that's a good phrase to use if you're gonna read all the messages you haven't read before. Anything else? Nope, that's about it. All right, here's sample two. Um, what do I like to do? Well, go on YouTube, go on Weibo, go on WeChat. Desperately hope for notifications. I do like the desperately. Okay, <laughs> it tells us something about her state of mind, her feelings. Read up about stuff on Weibo, scroll through my WeChat moment. Now, the problem here is that none of these sentences are complete. <laughs> this is too informal. Like here, go on YouTube. What do I like to do? Go on YouTube. Uh, so go on, go, go. So these phrases are repeated, but none of them is a complete sentence. Now, in real life, people do talk like this. But in the test, you want your grammar to be a little bit less informal than this. And then she goes on to read about stuff on Weibo. So we have all these incomplete sentences with no subject. Uh, maybe if you do this once or twice, it's okay. But she does this how many times? I'm not going to count six times here. Uh, vocabulary wise, I told you about desperately already. Notification is good. Uh, scroll through, yeah, on the internet, on a web page, you or some app, you scroll through things, yeah. But this is the really good phrase. Let's listen to this one here. Through my WeChat moments for the uptime time. Ah, but she mispronounced it. I just noticed it now. It's for the uptime time. <laughs> I need to change that. If you do things many, 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 many times, then you end up doing something for the umpteenth time but there is an m in the word unfortunately she said upteenth it's umpteenth time this is a great word i don't think i've ever heard a candidate use this word before upteenth time i would blink and discover i just took a two-hour study break um 
I would blink and discover. I mean, I do kind of understand this metaphor. Like she's trying to say, like, in a blink of an eye, in a blink of an eye, it turns out you've just taken a two-hour study break. I would just suggest she changes the language a little bit. So, like I just said, um, in a blink of an eye, because if you say in a blink of an eye, it's even more idiomatic than just blink. So in a blink of an eye, like a very short time. Um, and also we need to change the grammar because if this is the past, then this has to be the past perfect. Discover I had just taken, had just taken a two hour study break. I guess I can't stop overextending my breaks. Okay, some good language here at the end, overextending. This is a good word. You extend something too much. Sample three. Uh, well, as I said before, um, I am pretty versatile. <laughs> you know, also in my during my uh, break hours, so I just like. I don't think versatile is the right word to use here. Um, I'm pretty adaptable, or I'm pretty flexible, not versatile. If something is versatile, it means it can be used for different purposes. But if you take a break, you're not being used for anything. So I'm pretty adaptable or I'm pretty flexible in how I take my breaks. That's not the right word. Honest, also in my during my uh, break hours, so I just like do that some uh, main tasks are. Wait, what? So I just like to do the some main task do the sum. Well, the and sum don't go together. That sounds very odd. And saying and listening to the music. There's no the here, just... <laughs> um, okay, so like dancing, I get that. Listening to music, okay, I'm with you. Or drinking some uh, stimulant like coffee or green tea. Okay, interesting that he calls coffee and green tea stimulants. I mean, they are. This is Great word. I didn't hear this a lot. Stimulants. Yeah, they stimulate you because of the caffeine, right? Uh, sometimes matcha. Uh, I had to look this up. I didn't know what matcha was. I forgot what it is now. It's a kind of tea, I think. Okay. And uh, also reading some magazines, something like fashion magazines or weapon magazines. Okay, now. The problem is... Look at the length of the sentences here. Uh, first one. Okay, so I'm pretty versatile. So we have one verb here. And then we have, it's also during my break hours, we have one verb. I just like to do some main tasks like dancing. <laughs> okay, so we have this sentence where there are a couple of examples. Um, then we have we come back to this and reading some magazines so here we have the verb just one verb let's see what's gonna happen in the next sentence in something like fashion magazines or weapon magazines and even do some crazy things like playing games why on earth is playing games something crazy I don't know okay so even though the sentences are are long um, they're not complex at all you know just for several minutes I don't have to you know play very long so just to chill out just to have a very okay and here we don't need this in the participle form so just to chill out so just to chill out play very long so just to chill out just to have a very good mental balance so when I do go back to my study or to my work I will be more energized at least here he uses the adjective correctly. I will be more energized. Okay, so, you know, he sounds very confident and he's able to talk for a long time. And his vocabulary is not bad. Like, I mean, he has mental balance, he has energized, he's got chill out, even though he used it incorrectly here. So, vocabulary wise, it's not bad. But the grammar is much weaker than his vocabulary. So he sounds a lot better than I think he actually is. Quite fluent and quite cohesive. I mean, he uses phrases like, you know, and so. 
sometimes and okay and again so <laughs> okay a bit repetitive but his ideas are connected to each other it's just that the ideas are contained within sentences where the grammar is really quite simple all right let's move on to simple sample four uh it depends on the length of the brick it's on the length of the brick good point okay if the brick is long it's break again not brick break i really have a trip maybe to some places of interest in now wait a second didn't she say this before <laughs> places of interest <laughs> okay so if in one answer you say you like taking trips to places of interest in the next answer i mean even if it's true i mean for the sake of the test try not to say the same thing again the examiner has already heard this the cities or province no hang on a second what did she say here in other cities or provinces plural plural provinces and uh, if in the future i have the opportunity i want to if you're talking about things that are not real we have to use would now it's a nice idea to use this if structure but remember if it's not real the if goes with would so if in the future i have the opportunity i'd like to go to go abroad and if the break is short i usually stay at home stay at home here we see some pronunciation features kicking i usually stay at home a little bit of intonation there we have a good meal with my parents or and then this but then she says or and <laughs> to some music or read some books okay music is not accountable now okay um relatively error free there aren't many mistakes uh, except this music here at the end and um the or and and um and here she should have, should have said i'd like to problem is she speaks very slowly problem is her pronunciation is quite poor even though it's easy to understand everything she's saying like i said stress chunking all that is missing intonation we saw we saw very little sign of that let's move on to sample five i usually get some sunshine if the weather is good outside if it's snowing or freezing outside, I try to stay home and cook. I like to make gingerbread cookies, pumpkin pies, or just simple desserts like lemon tarts or microwavable chocolate cupcakes. If she wasn't reading, that would be a terrific answer. I mean, look at this here, lemon tarts. You don't see people use the word tart a lot. And look at this, microwavable. <laughs> That's a terrific word to use. If you can buy kind of food that is, uh, you just put them in the microwave in order to prepare them. We say they're microwavable. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Cupcakes in a cup is so easy to make. You put all the ingredients in a cup, pop it into the microwave. Here she doesn't say put it into the microwave. She says pop like really quickly, very easily. And then you can enjoy your dessert in three minutes. I don't know what she's doing with her microphone. She seems to be having some issues there. Um, okay, it's too bad she's reading. It's very obvious that she's reading, but this is quite a well thought out answer. So if the weather is good, I do this. If it's snowing, I do something else. Um, really, really simple, no, not simple, that's not the right word. Uh, really easy to understand. Um, it's just too bad that she's reading. Oh, I missed the question. What's the question? Why do you need to take a break? I'm not sure this is an actual IELTS question, but let's listen to this anyway. Here is the first response. I work 10 hours a day, so if I didn't have breaks, I'd be exhausted. See, here he uses the if clause correctly. Sorry to talk about the if clause again, but this is pointed out if would because it's not real first of all I have a big lunch break which divides my day into two halves 
so I can look forward to half my day being over and then focus on the second half. Okay, so structurally, if you look at the coherence, it starts off here with first of all, so we know there's a second aspect coming and the second aspect is here, but most importantly, so here he's talking about the second aspect and then we have this relative clause, the lunch break is described as dividing his day into two halves and he gives a result so I can look forward to have my day being over. Look forward to noun phrase, have my day being over. This ing turns it into a noun phrase. Uh, look forward is always uh, followed by a noun phrase. So the grammar is good, the coherence is good, and doesn't help his, uh, sorry, doesn't hurt his pronunciation that he is a native speaker. Okay, so let's see here, more importantly, what's gonna happen then? Focus on the second half. But most importantly, I need my other short breaks for things like going to the bathroom or calling people back. Okay, nothing too exciting in that last sentence. Structurally, a very good answer. Here's the second sample. Um, I think it's, it's reason is pretty simple because... The reason, I think the reason is pretty simple. Um, physiologically speaking, human beings need to have rest, you know. Rest, not wrist, rest. Um, okay, good word, physiologically speaking, speaking about the human anatomy, human biology. All work. Whoa, let's go back to the beginning of this sentence. It's like old saying goes. Uh, just like the old saying goes, the old saying goes. And then he messes it up. Oof. So, if you're gonna memorize idioms, it's fine, but make sure that you are memorizing the idioms correctly. This is an example of somebody using the idiom incorrectly. Uh, all work, no play, make Jake, uh, makes Jake a dog boy. This is not the idiom. <laughs> the idiom is all play. <laughs> I messed it up too now. <laughs> All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And it's not all worked, it's all work. All work and no play uh, makes Jack a dull boy. So he messed it up. Uh, so if you're gonna use an idiom like this and you're using it incorrectly, that's not gonna impress the examiner at all. So I think it's really important to have a, you know, a equilibrium um, in your energy spending. I mentioned before his vocabulary is pretty good. Like here he uses equilibrium, that's good. But then he says energy spending. This does not exist in English. In English there's no thing like, there's no such thing as energy spending. It's really important to have equilibrium in your energy spending. Uh, I guess he's trying to say is you need to devote equal amounts of time to work and pleasure. That's how I would put it. Or if you want to put it more simply, um, you should divide your time equally between uh, work and pleasure. But this energy spending, this doesn't work. Instead of energy spending, let's just say time. You know, for example, you keep uh, working on your assignment or academic tasks uh, or business tasks for a long time, maybe two hours. You need to stretch your back a bit and just to chill out your brain a little bit. So. You cannot chill out the body parts. You cannot chill out your brain or chill out your leg. That doesn't work. Only you as a whole can chill out. So you need to stretch your back, that's fine. And just chill a little bit, not chill your brain. When you go back to your main task, you still have enough energy. Otherwise, you'll be so exhausted. And he has really a great opportunity here to put some stress on so and he didn't take that opportunity he could have said otherwise you'll be so exhausted but he didn't use that chance that's too bad okay sample three usually because boredom loneliness or hunger stops my brain to function properly okay here we have some nouns that are pretty good boredom loneliness hunger vocabulary is good stops my brain but then grammatically after stop we have to use ing stops my brain from functioning 
properly stops my brain or keeps my brain from actually I think keep is a better verb than stop um, keeps my brain from functioning properly keep ing therefore I take a break to regain consciousness this is not the right word if you are not conscious it means like you are in a coma or you are sleeping you have no idea well not really sleeping but your eyes are shut you have no idea what's going on around you like when you get hit on the head really hard I, 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 and, and I'm not sure what she's trying to say here but regain consciousness is not the phrase that she's looking for therefore I take a break to ring I think she means regain concentration not consciousness if you are unconscious it's 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 worrying <laughs> it could mean that you might need to go to the hospital in consciousness in order to keep the central processing unit on my body running okay so here she's trying to use some idiomatic language and she's not failing I mean instead of saying brain she says central processing unit I get it it's not bad but it's not on your body it's in your body your brain is in your body running at its optimal level Ooh, good vocabulary here um, at its optimal level yeah also at an optimal level I try to take a break usually eating break. usually usually so I can refuel my brain it's refuel not refill refuel all right so a couple of mispronunciations but the mispronunciations are not serious you can still understand what she's saying i mean i get she's trying to say refuel not refill and it's usually even though she says usury okay here is sample four actually i'm not a machine why on earth would you say actually and then follow that by saying i'm not a machine are people mistaking you for a machine are people treating you like you're a machine? This is not an instance where we, you can use the word actually. And uh, I can't walk all the time. Work, work, not walk, work. I need time to refresh my mind and... Uh, Whoa, there are lots of is here. Mind, uh, and... Uh, uh, to make me cheer out. Cheer up. I think that's what she's looking for here cheer up and it doesn't make me cheer up um, you can use cheer up as a verb so to refresh my mind and to cheer me up to cheer me up not make me cheer up so break a break give me gives me the opportunity to okay and here you can see the speech is really slow relax myself just relax no myself to relax and uh, prepare myself to have a good start or have a good begin I'm not clear what she's beginning here she doesn't did she say what she's beginning I, I don't know is it like a beginning to the day I'm not sure but anyway um, start can be a noun but begin it's not a noun so have a good beginning have a good start or have a good beginning I'm not sure why you need to say both because the meaning is the same but anyway the noun form is beginning uh, good begin so the break it's not a, it's not the break it's a break you're not talking about a specific break here so a break is necessary the break is necessary for the overall development no, nope, this doesn't follow. What is she talking about now? Because just before this, she said, I need to prepare my, prepare, I need to relax and prepare myself to have a good start. So, a, having a break is necessary for the overall development. But no, these two ideas are not connected. These are not the same. What's the connection between having a good start to? your day or a, an assignment or a task and the overall development is she talking about human development I don't see the connection between the two I don't know why she used so here 
Maybe she's gonna explain it. And uh, of me, and uh, it's not necessary to improve my sex. No, because she goes on to talk about other things that have nothing to do with the start of the day. For my psychological and physical, logical and uh, physical health condition. Okay, uh, drop the condition. So improve my psychological and physical health. We don't need the condition here. This adjective health describes psychological and it also describes physical. These are good words to use, but she kind of spoils she kind of spoils it by saying health condition unfortunately um, I don't know I would say this is fair I wouldn't say this is a very good answer uh, let's move on to the next question how often do you take a break how often do you take a break and here is sample one I take a break about every two hours. At my job, I'm not allowed to take breaks sooner than that. So I have a few breaks every day for things like going to the bathroom or having a snack. Just to go back to what the woman said before, when she used so, that, that so was used inappropriately. This one might more appropriately because I can clearly see the connection between not being allowed to take more breaks than that and him having to take a few breaks uh, for going to the bathroom or having a snack for things like going to the bathroom or having a snack sometimes I ask to take a break to make an important phone call but of course I wish I could take a break for my whole work day my whole work day um, I don't have anything to say about this except the of course, this is not a bad discourse marker. Nah, nothing stands out. Let's go to sample two. Nearly once every 45 minutes. Whoa, this woman's voice. Okay, so she jumps right into the answer. Nearly once every 45 minutes. Did she not say minutes? Every 45 minutes. Minutes. One day I saw there is scientific evidence about the reasonable frequency of taking breaks in a passage. <clears throat> right. Um, okay, L let's listen to the next part. Scientists do some tests and experiments in terms of this. It's convincing. What is happening in this answer? <laughs> She is treating this like a piece of writing and she's making so many mistakes. Okay, so one day I saw, it's not there it is, so one day I saw a scientific, no, actually that's not even right. <laughs> one day I read a scientific journal, I guess. I guess that's where you read these things. Okay, so one day I, I read a scientific journal where they presented some evidence about um, how often people should take breaks. Not the reasonable frequency. Okay, so one day I read a scientific journal where they presented some evidence um, about how often people should take breaks. But this is not connected to the first idea. I guess where she read this, I don't know if this is even true, but okay. Um, so in this article or this journal she read, I guess they said 45 minutes, but there's nothing linking these two. So I do this about once every 45 minutes. Why not just say because, and then we know the reason. Because one day I was reading a scientific journal and I saw that they had this uh, article where they presented evidence on how often people should take breaks. Okay, and then she goes on to talk about the scientists who... Scientists do some... Did. Scientists did. Tests and... Tests. And experiments in terms of this. No, they did tests on this topic, or they did tests on this issue. 
it's convincing. <laughs> okay, it's convincing. It doesn't convince me, but okay. After that, I decide to follow the guide. Okay, and she keeps on using the present tense. So after that, I decided to follow the guidelines. Flying if science. I don't know what this means. Why is it if science? I think she's trying to say of science. I tried to follow the these gu these guidelines. Um, but if you're going to refer back to what was said before, why not say these? So I decided to follow these guidelines. These scientific guidelines. Besides my education background. Besides my educational background. Background is a noun, so we have to go with the adjective educational. Besides, my educational background helps me. Is my education background helps me to develop this habit. I don't know what that means. Is she saying my educational background helps me to develop the habit? So if she did not have a background in education, she couldn't take a break every 45 minutes. Maybe. I don't know. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Okay, here's sample three. I usually take a break once a week, actually. Uh, actually. Actually, actually. It's a lot of actuallys. In daily life. In, in my daily life at university. When I was in he, I faced um, a lot of difficulties and the competition. Uh, well, competition is not a tangible noun, so let's drop the the. Well, actually, no, that's not the reason why. She's not talking about specific competition. Forget about what I said about tangible nouns. That's not true. Um, I face a lot of difficulties and competition. So it's difficulties in general, competition in general. So there's no the. The atmosphere around me is competitive. Okay, here the the is okay because it's a specific atmosphere. Competition is not specific. So I have to learn more knowledge to learn more knowledge. <sighs> learn more knowledge to improve my skills. Um, this might seem correct, but no native speaker is ever going to say I have to learn more knowledge to improve my skills. So just I need to improve my skills. And the verb for knowledge is not learn, it's acquire. So I have to acquire more knowledge and improve my skills. Just learning knowledge or just acquiring knowledge does not help you improve your skills. These are two different things. Improve my skills and to prove I'm a good student. I'm a good student. There's no S there. Um, okay, let's go back to the beginning of this answer. Okay, so once a week is really very seldom, right? So she says, so she should have said, well, I actually, I take breaks very infrequently, only, only once a week because of all the, there's no because here. So because of all the difficulties and competition I face at school, I have to really um, work hard to learn more. I would drop the knowledge, maybe learn more and improve my skills. So that keeps me very busy and prevents me from taking more breaks. And then she goes on to, I have to prove I'm a good student. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know who she needs to prove this to. The proof. And it's not proof, it's prove, prove. I'm a good student. I'm a good student. So actually I don't have enough time to take a break. That makes sense. Most of my time were spending. Why does she say were? Most of my time is spent. Is spent. She tries to get the right grammar out here, but she still fails. She says are spending, is spending. No, no, no. It's just is spent. Are spending. Uh if you use the passive voice, if you want to make the time, your time, the subject of the sentence, we used to use the we need to use the passive voice. So we need to have a be verb and the past participle. Most of my time is spent. Not in the past, in the present. Is standing in the library. So most of my time is spent in the library. The reading books. And there's no end. 
So most of my time is spent in the library, reading books, or doing the homework. There's no the. So most of my time is spent in the library, reading books, or doing homework. I wish she. I wish she would explain who she needs to prove. Where is that bit? Yeah, here. Who does she need to prove to that she's a good student? Her parents? Maybe? I can know. Okay, here's sample four. Well, as I said before, because um, I'm a multitasker, so I have... You don't use because and so together. So be because I'm a multitasker, I have different... There's no so... Different, uh, you know, uh, short bricks. Again, the word is breaks, not bricks. Um, very frequently, so... Okay, what is going on here? Because I'm a multitasker, so I have different short breaks. I don't know what different short breaks are. I'm a multitasker, so I have different short breaks. Does he mean short breaks of different length? Maybe, maybe breaks of different lengths. Um, very frequently, so I can say that uh, every one hour, or, or maybe at least every, uh, at least every one hour, but sometimes maybe one and a half hours, I would. Okay, if you're gonna say at least, then it's just at least every hour. There's no one hour, so at least every hour, but sometimes, maybe, every one and a half hours. Okay. Take a break. Uh, maybe sip a cup of coffee. Why is there an S there? He didn't say bricks, he just said brick. Okay, he's still mispronouncing the word, but he didn't put an S there. Uh, maybe sip a cup of coffee. Again, here's some good vocabulary. Sip a cup of coffee. Sip to drink. Do some uh, popping, dancing, or just, you know. No, 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 dancing. There's no S. There's no S. Popping, dancing. I don't know if this is the right word. <laughs> I don't know enough about dancing to say this is wrong. Uh, anyway. The heavy bag, several times. Hit the heavy bag. I don't know if he means a punching bag. I do know of punching bags. I don't know what the heavy bag is. Maybe he's boxing. It's a punching bag. You know, for several rounds. And I can chill out and then I go back to different new tasks. And that's it. Well... What I said about him before, I'll say again, he's got pretty good vocabulary. And let's see how he ties his answers together. So we have well, we have s cause and so. This is not correct. Just choose one. He uses the phrase you know quite a lot. So, uh, but sometimes, you know, He's able to join, he, you know, you know. So he really is able to join his um, ideas fairly well together. And this, and this, together with his pronunciation, really makes it sound, makes him sound a lot better than he really is. Because like I said before, his grammar, there are some real weaknesses in his grammar. And sometimes he uses words inappropriately, although not so much in this answer. Like here he says, I can chill out. He doesn't say I can chill out my brain like he did before. And not too many mistakes. Uh, pronunciation wise, well, I think a lot of Chinese speakers do have problems pronouncing the word break correctly. He is definitely not the only one. So yeah, he really makes himself sound pretty good.